call the mayor and tell him how to do his job, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna call the mayor. Oh, cool. Here we go. I hope he, I hope he picks up. <laughs> Thank you for calling the office of Mayor Jorge Delorza. Hey. The office is now closed. Oh. Over business hours on Monday through Friday, from 3 a.m. to 4 p.m. If it's an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. More information on storm preparation. Well, it is, it is kind of an emergency. Should I call 911? Hello? Delorza? Your day is not available. Record your message after the tone. When you're finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, hey, Mayor Lorza, this is Mark Bomber. Hey, I'm calling you because I got I, we got some issues in Providence, and you're the mayor of Providence, so you gotta fix them. I know, I know you said, um, I know recently that you weren't gonna give uh, any subsidies to the National Grid uh, for their um, liquid natural gas facility. But you know what you need to do? You need to tell natural uh, national, you need to tell National Grid to, to to that they can't build their liquid natural gas facility anywhere in Providence. That's what you need to do. Because if you don't, then they're gonna build it, and then if they build this LNG facility, then everyone is going to suffer. It's literally, it's going to make everyone's lives worse. And I thought the point of living in a city like Providence was to have a better life than you would if you lived, uh, like, well, yeah, like, the point of living in Providence isn't to live, have a worse life than you would if you didn't live in Providence, but if you let them build this liquid natural gas facility, well, then life will just get worse for a lot of people, especially the people in the community where it's going to be built, like, on the south side of Providence. Like, you're going to really mess those people up, and they already got to deal with all this toxic infrastructure, because the place where they want to build this liquid natural gas facility, that place is a toxic disaster, and you, you can't let it get any worse, and you need to make it better. Really, do it. Do it, you know. Uh, I know you get asked to do a lot of different things, but you got to do this one real good, because otherwise, you know, you're putting everyone's life in danger, especially the, the, uh, the people that live in the south side of Providence who are predominantly poor and who always have to shoulder the burden of uh, toxic infrastructure, usually in every city in America, because people just are like, oh, we need to put something toxic. Well, let's build it in a poor community uh, who doesn't really have a voice to stand up and fight back. Well, I'm tired of that. I'm tired. You, know, you, need, you, need to real, you really need to not do that. Okay, you don't need to do that, Mayor Lorza. There are other options. And I think you know what they are. I know, I know, I know you, you want, I know it would look good on your resume if you were like awarded the climate champion of Providence. Well, you're not going to get a damn climate champion trophy if you let uh, National Grid build a liquid natural gas facility in our city. But how are we supposed to give you the climate champion trophy when you're out there letting National Grid build whatever they want? And another thing, you know what? That's not the only issue with National Grid. If, if you let them build this liquid natural gas facility, uh, well, first of all, just don't do it. Don't let them build it. But, um, and if for some reason you mess up and screw everyone, especially the, the poor people in the south side of the province, and you let them build it, you better not let the let National Grid pass off the bill to the, the, the ratepayers. Because you know what they want to do? They want to they make the, the people, the, they want to pay for their liquid natural gas facility by uh, adding extra extra um, fees to everyone's electric bill. That doesn't seem cool. That is not, that is, that is a, that, uh, uh, I feel nauseous just thinking about it. Like, how could that, this can't happen. Well, up? this cannot happen. If it does, then I'm going to, like, I don't know. I might, um, you know what, if this happens, I'm going to hack your Facebook. That's a real threat. Watch out. I'm going to hack your Facebook and delete it. Then you won't have a Facebook account anymore. How would you like that, Meryl Lorza? Your Facebook isn't going to... Well, actually, this wasn't a real threat. This was a metaphorical threat, okay? So if you let this stuff go through, then I'm going to metaphorically hack your Facebook account and delete it. Who knows what that looks like in reality? But I'm speaking in metaphors right now, and if you let this go through, then your Facebook account's going to be hacked, and it's going to get deleted, and you won't have a Facebook account anymore. So... Oh. If you are satisfied with your recording, press 1. I, press 2. I, guess, I'm, I guess I'm satisfied. Just your message now. Press 1. Oh, man. Well, I just threatened the mayor, and I said I was going to hack his Facebook account and um, and delete it if he let this LNG facility get built. Uh, hopefully, he heard the part about that, what I said being a metaphor for what I'm actually going to do. But who knows how people interpret metaphors these days. Um, you know, I, I mean, I guess it's not good to threaten a public official by saying you're going to hack his Facebook, but it's also probably not good to let a national grid build a liquid natural gas facility in a uh, predominantly poor community and make their lives worse. And, you know, it's not only going to affect the poor community, it's going to affect them more than everyone else, but it's going to affect the entire city. Uh, and what I was saying about National Grid passing on the bill for this liquid natural gas facility, they want to build this, and then they want to make the people who pay for the, uh, the they want to pay the rate, pay, they want to make the rate payers pay for this construction. So they not only want to bring toxic, inf more toxic infrastructure to the province, but they want to make the, uh, yeah, they just want to make us pay for it. The people that pay electric bills, they want to boost our electric cost. Like, uh, this is so, like, maddening. This, uh, oh, God, oh, I wish I could just, um, well, uh, yeah. well, you know what, this goes for everyone. Everyone involved with this, um, yeah, everyone who's involved with the creation of this liquid natural gas facility, this is a warning to all of you, okay? Everyone who's involved with the if it gets built, everyone involved, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your Facebook, I'm going to come for your Facebook, and I'm going to metaphorically hack into your Facebook and metaphorically delete your Facebook account. So you can interpret my metaphors however you want, but you're going to get metaphorically hacked and you're going to get your Facebook metaphorically deleted. So, I don't know what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is if you build this, you're, you got you got to deal with some metaphors coming for you. I'm going to be... Uh, if you let this facility get built, you're going to have to deal with so many metaphors coming at you because all I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to be creating metaphors and... You know, you might not be scared of metaphors, but you ain't never, you've never seen my metaphors. Before. The long and short of it is metaphors are coming for you if you let this facility get built.